Okay, <clears throat> so today we're gonna learn how to warp our loom. Um, and I have a piece of yarn that is about the length of the table. And the first thing that you're going to do is put your yarn through this first hole. These two holes are used for a string for hanging. So I just wanna poke this piece of yarn through that first hole. And then I need to tie it very securely. So I'm gonna do a double knot to do knot it you're going to put your piece of yarn over that long piece and then through the opening and tie it. And do that one more time. So you're making a little loop right here. Put that string under and tie it. And don't worry too much about this. You don't wanna cut it off. What we'll probably do at the very end is tape it to the back or Put it in the loom. Then you want to take your string and you're coming straight down to this first hole and I'm going to put the piece of yarn through the front to the back and pull that. Then I need to turn my weaving loom over and you're not going straight back up to this. You need to go, we're always going to go back through to the front. So then I need to put this string right here where it came out into the hole that's next to that. And if you have trouble getting this string through, like it doesn't want to poke through, you can take a pencil or like the end of a paint, this paintbrush, and you can push it through and it should go through to the front. And then I want to pull that back through. Now I'm ready to go back up to the top into that next hole. So I put it through, turn it over, and then I need to go back through right next to that. And that's not wanting to poke through, so I just take my brush and push that through. Sometimes it takes a couple tries to kind of get the hang of it. And you can stop this video if you get the hang of it and go ahead and continue, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and then show you how to do the weaving part. So now I'm back, and every time you put it through from the front, you turn it over to the back, put it back in through that hole, and back to the front. Now I'm ready to go back up to the top. So I'm just repeating it all the way across. Sometimes you have to push it through if it doesn't want to quite go through. Make sure you're not now going back down there. So you're starting to kind of see a pattern going on the back here where it comes across. If the ends get frayed and it's harder to put it through, then just take your scissors and cut off a little bit of that frayed stuff so it goes through easier. So I am almost done. Looks like that one's sometimes it's kind of hard on the back. So you just keep flipping it over, going through the front. Towards the end, you really have to take your brush handle and kind of stick that through or your pencil. I'm ready to do the last one. Okay, so the last one is through and I've got that long string that'll end up cutting it. This is way too loose for weaving. So you start back over here at the front on my first string, pull it down, come down to here and you're just following it through. I've got all that loose string so I'm pulling it to make this tight. And 
pull each one, and I'm hanging on to this to keep it tight while I pull the next one through. And then you need to tie it just like you did that first one where you're going to make, and I'm kind of hanging on to it so it keeps it tight. If it's too loose, then it's really hard to um, weave, and I did cut a little bit off to make it easier. So I'm taking my string, putting it over that last one, and then through that opening that you make through the loop, and do that twice. Don't cut these really short. You can cut them to about two inches long. If you cut them short, then it's going to come undone when you start the weaving part. So this is ready to weave. And I could just leave these in here and weave that in so it doesn't show. So then you're going to take your next piece of string, which is about the same length as the table, and you're going to start your weaving. And you're just doing a pattern. You're going over, under, over, under. And we're just kind of finger weaving because this is really loose. And I pull my yarn till I have just a little tail. Then I want to look at my where the long piece of yarn is. And this is going under that string. So this time I need to go over it. So you're doing opposite. And this goes pretty fast. And I'll leave it, weave it kind of loosely so that you can see how to do that. And then it goes over that time, so this time I want to go under. And I'm going to go under over here. It looks like I'm always going under that first one. Sometimes it's easier to kind of leave it loose at the beginning to kind of see where you're, where you're going. If you pull this too tight, then it starts going in like that and it looks funny. I'll do one more row to show you. And then how you push it down. After, and you can start, use another color. I just push that down as I go. And then I'll show you what to do if you want to change the color or if you run out of string. So I could keep going, or let's say I want to change to a different color. Then I'll probably cut this a little bit so I can have a little bit left. And all you need to do oops, sorry, is I'm just going to tie these two pieces together. So I have it long enough that I can put the two ends together. I can make a loop around my finger, so I've got a loop made. Then I need to take those two ends and push it through that opening and just pull it tight. And then when I weave, I'll show you what happens with that knot. So I'm going to go under again, so I'm just going across. And you'll have this knot sticking out right here. But what we do is uh, when we get a couple more rows woven, you can just push that through to the back side if it's sticking out on the front. I can just take that knot and push it through and when I do my weaving it won't show. And you're going to weave all the way up to the top. You want to make sure that you don't have a string that's too long that you're weaving with, I'm no longer than one length of the table probably, because if you do, then it just gets a, a makes a tangly mess when you're trying to weave. Whoops, see there, I went under and under the same ones and it just pulled it out. Got to make sure I'm doing opposite. And it's easy to make that mistake. You gotta make sure that you're not like going over two or that you accidentally go over and under the same ones or it'll come unwoven like mine did. And then I could go as far as I want. I could change my colors. 
I could add another color in there. When you're all done, I'll show you the last thing that you do. This one had a piece of clay in there that's stuck. The last thing you're going to do is put your string through here and tie that and make a handle. And that's it.